So we're here at No Web 2012. Who are you? Um, we are Team Black Sheep and we manufacture drones for hobby purposes. This is just a hobby? Yeah, just it's hobby. It's not the military? No, no military. It's not the US military? No. It's not the CIA? <laughs> no, nothing like that. <laughs> where, where are you from? Switzerland. Switzerland? Yeah. So Swiss drones? Exactly, yeah. But just hobby? Just for hobby. So we're neutral, so... <laughs> how, how big is your company? Um, it's five people and we develop um, quadrocopters and flying wings. Um, so, this is your design, you have a hero? What's going yes, on here? Yeah, we, I mean, we're not big enough yet to make everything ourselves, but we just basically assemble commercial off-the-shelf components together with specialized UAV equipment. What is a UAV? Unmanned aerial vehicle. So, specialized, uh, what, which part do you make, which part do you buy, which, how do you put stuff together? Uh, we make the video link, which goes up to 50 miles. Nice. So, uh, and, and we make uh, like the motors, the, the, these plates here, the shape of the, of the wing. Uh, most of the equipment inside is done by us. And uh, what is this? This is a GPS with a compass. It will help the quad stabilize uh, in the air. Nice. And uh, what goes on here? Uh, this is the uplink, so the remote control uplink. Uh, it works on 433 megahertz. That's uh, amateur radio band. It's like a, a ham radio. Yes, that's ham radio. Yeah. So it means you can go how far? Very far. <laughs> like how? Um, like the, you can boost the signal to go 300, 400 miles, but usually the, I mean the... Uh, you could fly this away 300 miles. The, the, problem, is, is the, the problem is the battery. Yeah, how long is that? Uh, that's three miles, four miles. Three miles, four miles. That's kind of like a mountain. Yeah, exactly. That's what we yeah? do this for. Uh, we come from Switzerland, so uh, yeah. <laughs> we have a lot of mountains in our backyard. Does it work? You just yes. throw it on the mountain and it just goes up? It, you just you just fly it up there. You have the live link in, in your video goggles. What is this? These are modified um, iPod goggles built into ski into ski goggles. So do you use micro displays? <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Is it LCD? Uh, this one here is still LCD. We also have uh, LED. O LED. LED. Is it Copin micro display or something else? Uh, it's Copin modules. Yeah. Uh, I think this one here not anymore. Uh -huh. But the, we used copy models before, and so you would snowboard around like crazy and have this follow you. What what go, what, do you, what is it for? Uh, well, you can really fly and, and do sports at the same time. But but uh, you can have your friend snowboard and you follow him and you film him, or you can go up to mountains, make excursions, um, just check out stuff that you want to see far away within minutes. So this is huge. This is awesome. What are you going to do in the future? Uh, well. The idea is to extend this further for uh, more professional use, for professional filming. And uh, obviously the goal is to always increase the flight time and the range and the video quality. So do you use it? Yes. It took, did, how many do you have? Uh, here? Uh, in the world? In, in the world. Uh, it's about 2,000. You have made 2,000 like this. And are they the best in the world or how do you say this? How stable well, is this? The, the, the shape. The shape uh, lends itself uh, the best, or, or is, is the best for, for video flying. There's hundreds of different models out there in the world, but uh, this is one of the most advanced ones. One of the most advanced? Yeah. In, in How the much price, it cost? Uh, it's, if you start from scratch, it's about $2,000 or 1,600 euros. But you sell um, it for more? Well, you, you, can, you can add more equipment to it, but it's usually less. Because if, if you already have the batteries, if you're already flying uh, remote control airplanes, you can use stuff in combination. So people can contact you, buy it for this price? Yes. Less than 2000 Yes. For, it for, looks like for this. this stuff, yeah. Cool, and you can fly around the mountain. But uh, how many crashes? Like, uh, it's how good is pilot. it? <laughs> no, but, I mean, like, uh, the, the system is fairly reliable. Uh, we haven't had any technical issues um, in our flights. It, it depends on, on how well you fly, because you can fly very close to stuff, you can fly very fast, and you can also fly behind objects, yeah. and that's when you lose the video signal. Behind objects. But uh, the RF will continue, uh, the ham will continue to work? The uplink is more reliable than the video signal. Okay. So that's, that's a little bit... Uh, and what is this? 
This is the battery. That ruins the whole thing? Yeah. And uh, is it dangerous? The battery itself? Uh, it, it's, it's a normal iPhone battery, or, or it's made of the same... There's only 3,300? Yeah. For the whole machine? For the whole machine. This is like a laptop kind of thing, no? Or yeah, even yeah, less? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like a less. tablet. It's even less. Yeah. Uh, it's 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 um, fourteen point eight volts, so it's even less than most laptop batteries. But that's because if it was bigger, you would need bigger helicopter to carry it, right? Oh no, you can you can go up to double the size with this helicopter, and it's it support double the flight time, right? Almost. So what uh, what is your background to make this work? Uh, what do you do? Are you um, from? A I'm, I actually I just started this as a hobby and became one of the most famous people doing it by flying over the Statue of Liberty when one of these things. Nice. So when was that? Uh, that was two two years ago. Two years ago. Yes. And how's the design evolved since two years ago? Oh, a lot, a lot. Uh, we flew um, two years ago. We flew with wings, flying wings, basically just taped together. Flying wings, what? Uh, that they, they look like bomber jets. Yeah. Um, and since since then, we, we've experimented with all different kinds of flying shapes and, and this kind of stuff. And yeah, we started a company. But you say hobby. This. What what uh, what's your background? What do you do? Uh, I'm I'm still a student at the University of Zurich. Um, I'm finishing my degree of IT. IT? Yeah, in the, in the end of this year. Is there robotics going on over there as well? No, no. Not so but, much? but we have engineers that are doing the robotic stuff. So. Uh, all right. Does yeah. the university support your new hobby or? Um, they found out about it too late. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was almost done. Um, this is an antenna. The speciality about this antenna is that it's circular polarized. So all of the the commercial grade antennas you see are linear polarized, and this one here actually twists the signal. So the signal quality is is the same whatever um, attitude the, the craft is in. And that's video, right? That's for video, yeah. And what is this? This is the remote control. So, how do you make this? Uh, is it special? Something special about this? Oh uh, no, this is just a standard remote standard, control. Standard uh, yeah. RF, but ham. Support. Yeah, the, the, this is the ham module. So you added back. this. Yeah, and this is based on what technology? Um, this is uh, just simple RF chips. Um, I'm I'm not really sure what the brand is inside, um, but this is actually made by a different company, and and you just grab the signal from the transmitter and then divert it into the ham. But is, is, is it not safe to use it indoor, is it? Yes, sure. Oh, you uh, I, I can. You, you want to see a yeah. short flight? Better. You're obviously drinking now. <laughs>